Welcome back everyone to Poppin' Often with Lofton. Today, 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 we're gonna be looking at the Grand Chase trailer. I love Grand Chase, I'm sorry, but we're gonna be doing something a little bit different here. We're gonna be actually looking at the trailer and going over the lore about the trailer. Now, this is gonna be brief lore about the characters and, and the scenery and whatnot, so if you guys wanna see more in detailed lore stuff, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up so that I know that you actually enjoy this type of content. Grand Chase is almost on the way, and I'm kind of feeding for more Grand Chase content. So. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and also like i said thumbs up now when you're watching a trailer you're usually watching it just to experience and to like it and have fun and stuff like that this is actually a very old trailer used a long time ago but there's a lot of lore around this trailer and as i said i'm going to try to touch briefly on everything that we see so you guys can have a better understanding about not just what the game's about but just so you actually know what's going on in this trailer so without further ado let's get started i'm gonna do my best to pause at the right times but i probably won't this is most likely the kingdom of Canavan and Burmesia, one of the two kingdoms. The other kingdom is actually called Surden. There are only two kingdoms in Burmesia. So let's go a little bit further here. All right, so the first character we see is Seghart. Who is he? Seghart was born in Canavan, and he is actually part of Ellis' family. He is actually over 600 years old. Over 600, look at his face, look at him. Over 600, it's insane, isn't it? He's quite a legend among many, especially those in the kingdom of Canavan. So right now we actually see Sehart as his first job. He uses a Gladys and his first job is, you guessed it, called Gladiator. Those are, those, are, those are bad pauses, I'm sorry, but this looks kind of cool. Next, we have Elisis, the granddaughter of Sehart. She was born in the kingdom of Canavan as the first female heiress of her family. Girl power, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Right here, we actually see Elisis as her first job, and her first job is actually just called Knight. She's a knight of the Canavan, and so her first job is actually called Knight. She just uses a regular sword. Okay, that was a little quick. We're gonna try to get another face shot. Clean, okay. So this is Lass. Lass is actually a half-breed. He's a half-demon and a half-human. His father is a demon from the underworld and his mother is a human. When Lass was a baby, he was actually very hideous and that's the side effect of actually just being a half-breed. He also has a half-brother named Rufus, one of the characters later to join the chase. So this was a little bit interesting. We actually see Lass on his fourth job using Striker. Striker is his fourth job, and the blade that he uses is called an Adochi. All right, let's keep going. There's lore behind that dragon? Yes, there is actually lore behind that dragon. So that dragon is actually one of Ashtaroth's familiars. He uses a lot of familiars to fight, and this dragon is actually known to be one of his familiars. Not only do we fight him later in the actual game, but he's also been known to slaughter many. Or she, it could be a girl. Now that right there is Astaroth, one of the main protagonists of Grand Chase. If not all of the bad things that's been happening to the chasers is actually because of him. And of course, he's also known to slaughter many. I mean, who hasn't? What evil villain has not been known to slaughter many of people? Now stopping it right here, we actually see another character doesn't really get much time to shine, but she is there and that's Amy. Amy was a dancer and an oracle of Silverland. Once the war broke out among the gods, she actually decided to just leave. After she left, she chose to fight for the greater good and using her ability to dance and her ability to show that expression, she was actually able to raise the morale of the Knights of Silverland. And we also see Amy on her first job as well, but you don't see her weapons. What she actually uses are two circlet blades and she is actually on her first job called Dancer. Go figure. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so next we see Ronan. Ronan is actually the firstborn of a noble family in Canavan. He is also the captain of a royal guard in the Canavan kingdom. So what we see right now is actually him using one of his abilities known as Canavan Strike of his first job. A magic circle appears under him, and after that, it spawns a whole bunch of swords going up. And we also see Ronan on his first job, as stated before, called Spell Knight. Just like Elisis, he uses a regular sword, but he actually combines spells with his swordplay. I can't really say much about the ability because, I mean, that's just one of his abilities. I'm sorry for those pauses. So once again, we see Seghart for the second 
to third is to fourth -ish time in the trailer. He's coming to the aid of the chasers to help battle Astroth. As we see right here, he's using actually one of his abilities from his first job called Flame Sword. Sekhart drags his sword across the ground, generating sparks before sending an actual energy wave at his enemies. And at the end, we're just going to throw out some honorable mentions here. So we have Armel right above the G. She joined the Chasers because she wanted to learn from the sorceress Kazeaze. She wanted to see her fight in battle and learn from her. Next, we have Lyre. She's right above that A right there, and she actually joined the Chasers on behalf of the Elves. As I said, I'm just touching briefly on these characters, and as you see right there, there are many more characters on this actual roster, and of course, it's actually in the game. If you guys want to see more in-depth details about the characters or about what we're talking about, like I said, make sure you subscribe and thumbs up. I'm just going to leave you on that and let your minds run wild. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. As I said, subscribe, like to let me know that you guys enjoy this type of content, and I'll do my best to make more, and I'll do my best to be as accurate as possible with the information that, I, that I'm giving and researching. This will most likely be the last video on Grand Chase, maybe, until the game actually comes out on the 14th. Um, I believe though, if you're in America, it may come out around the, the 13th at the end of the night. Asia is actually quote unquote a day ahead of us because the time difference is so large. So I don't know if they will actually turn on the servers before it actually reaches the 14th in Grand Chase. If it does happen, I'll let you guys know and I'll post a video. So keep it locked. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time, you know what I always say. Thank you for what? Pop in often. We're locked in.